Hello everyone, this is Enzo Eigen at the Alliance for Loki, and this is war number seven. Um, and so let's get past the daily loyalty, and we are playing against, who we're playing against? Is this Gods of War? Um, maybe. Anyway, I'm on path uh, five against this Gore here. I'm going in with a team of Wiccan, Torch, and Archangel, and this first fight is absolutely a Wiccan fight. The whole point of this fight is to, um, let me skip through all my mastery changes, is to get my Nullify up, keep my Nullify up, and then, um, and then, uh, yeah, just don't let him throw an SP2, so just bait out SP1s, and so that's, that's the goal. And so here we go. Um, you know, Wiccan, you can get that Nullify up by finishing with a uh, five hit combo light, and so that's what I do right away. Um, and so now have the Nullify up, and now I'll go finish with a medium. That's going to allow me to um, to pause my Nullify and put a uh, Incinerate on him. But you can see Ari has 10 Incinerates on him now, so he's absolutely melting. Um, and here he hits me, which is not great. I just was sort of watching this too much. Throw a heavy just again to keep the Nullify up. When you use a new spell, he uh, pauses his other his other um, abilities or his other spells, and so so that fight was super easy, super quick. <laughs> Twenty three seconds. Um, the rank rank three Wiccan is doing his job here. Uh, next fight is um, a very typical war fight. We got Mordo, and I'm going in with Torch. I'm saving my flame on for later. Uh, this one, I'm basically just baiting out heavies. Um, you know, I get an intercept here and two intercepts. It's actually not that great because I need to build up my uh, my temperature and my smolder. So I probably should have gone right to block. But, you know, when you can get free intercepts, why not? Um, and now just putting bunches of incinerates on. Not too worried about his SB1 or his SB2. Um, you know, lucky I cancel out his power gain there, which is nice. He throws the SB2. And so just very straightforward, this fight. I'm not worrying at all about throwing specials. Just uh, trying to make sure he baits out his specials and, and getting pretty lucky with his power gains. Um, they're procking just at the right time for me to, to turn them off. And so so another really quick, easy fight with Torch, 35 seconds. And yeah, this war is looking good so far. Okay, now off we are to path, I think path three or four. What path are we on? I get a... I'm the first one in, so we're in path four, and this first fight is an Archangel fight, and of course, if he puts too many debuffs on me, he goes unblockable, and he can also purify debuffs, which if he knocks me down, so I just have to be really careful and play well and not get knocked down, and so I uh, have my four bleeds up. I probably should have let him hit him to my block a little more, maybe get another uh, degen there. I don't know, I sort of playing cautiously, I think, and just didn't really counteract it. So this is one of these fights where I feel like it's better to be more cautious than aggressive um, because you're really just trying to like get this fight down without worrying about too many things. And so here I am, he's got the five neurotoxin on, that's great. And he's about to go into his second life and he has his SP2 uh, ready, which is nice. So I'm gonna try to bait out the SP2, of course. Um, and yeah, it's taking him some time to throw it. It's actually taking him a long time. And I remember this fight, there it is. Finally, he throws it. Okay, and I go in to him, and now I'm just trying to, of course, get up some neurotoxins, let his own, like, degen affect him too. So, and don't let him throw an SP2, that'd be catastrophic. So, right into block, trying to really hold that, uh, hold that SP1 so he doesn't throw it. And now I finally get a bunch of poisons, now I have neurotoxins, and now everything's in good shape. And so now I'm just sort of sitting and waiting for, for the neurotoxins to do their job while baiting out the special. There it is, and I go in. So his specials were starting to, uh, my neurotoxins were starting to take down. I feel like I took a little bit of risk there. I probably could have played a little more, um, a little more casual. Same there. Um, like the neurotoxins sort of fell off before he was totally dead. And so, yeah, reviewing that, fine. I mean, the fight went okay. I think I could have been a little more conservative and taken a little less risk in that. But it worked. So, hooray. Uh, next is against Ebony Maw. Um, this placement on it i don't think the node really helps ebony maul too much because uh, it's the one where yeah they can cleanse debuffs and so i don't think maul cleanse debuffs at all and so so once again human torch fight this time with flame on same type of fight you just let him hit me build up my um my temperatures and yeah just continue to counter him um it's an interesting fight only because if you have of course above 10 of your temperature you can't miss which is one of his big kit is to make you miss when she has his like whisper on and so um 
And so I'm always like trying to keep an eye on my temperatures because I want to make sure like here, like I could hit him when I had the falter on, but now I can't because I'm above 10. And so, yeah, I think I sort of realized this. So sometimes with Human Torch, you know, you can sort of get in these like times when you're doing really well where, you know, you're intercepting a lot or you're getting good openings, but your temperature is going to drop. So sometimes it's worth this fight just slowing down a little bit, pausing and um, and taking the uh, taking the block hits like there I had the falter on, but luckily plenty of plenty of temperature. So I was not in any danger of missing. But um, that's happened to me a few times when playing with Torch. And my last fight is a rare mini boss fight it's against this Nimrod over on the center aisle. So here's Nimrod right here. Um, again, a pretty straightforward fight. Um, can't remember what this note has. Let's take a look. Maybe you'll tell me. Maybe I already read it. <laughs> but um, oh, what is this note? Uh, let's see. I'm sure. Sure, I click on it at some point. Uh, okay, here it is. Um, the note is. Um, Let's see, okay, I get placebos on me, big deal. Resistance is futile, big deal, and I can't read the other one. I feel like the nodes don't really matter too much. Um, my goal in this is very similar to the last fight. I want to get my neutralize up and let him like sort of mostly destroy himself when he gets his armors. I throw the heavy again to keep my neutralize paused. And here I go again. You know, another, um, another spell is cast with ending the combo in the medium. And same again because I help my block. I'm actually counterattack is SB1. It's SB1. I feel like I have about a 50% uh, dex. <laughs> um, like there, I missed a dex, um, dex success on. So I want to throw my SB2. He's at SB2. I had to sort of wait just a, just a few seconds while he nullifies or pow uh, power locks me. And big SB2. He has lots of incinerates, which turns into lots of plasma, which turns into huge amounts of damage. My nullify is totally up, and boom, he just explodes. And so, so there you have it. That's the war. Five fights and five solos, and my perfect season is intact. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm sure I looked at our defense. Uh, let me go find it. I was like peeking at my defense. Um, and so, ah, so we're against this alliance. I don't know how to pronounce your name. If any of you watch this video, tell me how to pronounce your name or what it means. And there's my defense right there. Whoops. Uh, it's always hard to gain exactly on it once at the end of the video. My defense was doing well. There it is. There's the defense right there. So I have zero kills, <laughs> which doesn't seem that good. This was a very early fight in the war. Um, I think I ended up with 11 kills overall. Um, but yeah, they, again, another alliance that I do not believe was uh, was pushing. And so it was a fairly straightforward war. And okay, seven down, no deaths. Let's keep it going. Um, and yeah, I'll be back very soon with war number eight. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.